Welcome to your five minutes of self-care. So today I'd like to speak to you or continue with the topic of transitions. And the transition going from one spot to the next one, you find yourself in the middle. And that middle space is the space of the unknown, the uncertainty, wobbling around, not really knowing how to maneuver, what is the best next step and trying to go with the nature's flow. In the past weeks, I've been training more with Shifu Shi Heng Zuan, who is the headmaster of Shaolin Temple Europe. And Tai Chi is a great practice to try to adapt to the natural flow of life. And it requires a lot of practice, letting go, and also healing. During the transition periods in your life, transformation, is not comfortable, it can be painful, and you may undergo a process of grieving. Grieving means letting go of maybe an old version of oneself, an old life, and letting go of the known, because it's so comfortable. When you live in a certain area, you know exactly the people, the way how you have to maneuver around, the culture, you understand everything, and it's easy. But then when you go through the transition, you have no home, you need to figure out where do I stay? Where do I want to be? And you experience a new culture that requires adaptation and a lot of patience and flexibility. And that's why the practices, if it's yoga or Tai Chi, they really help you to embody this within your physical existence, meaning your practice your training helps you to become supple flexible strong and more resilient and what you feel within your body you are able to also bring it into your mind into your emotional being your spiritual being with having trust and your wisdom being so part of a multi-dimensional being and this is something important to understand the grieving process is something that we allow to happen and try not to push away. It is key that to take yourself time and you go through major changes in your life, transformation and transitions that you allow yourself to grieve. Because if you don't, it's going to catch up with you. In the past months, in the past weeks, I have, I think I have not cried that much then in the last months to be able to let go of the old version of myself, let go of or forgive myself on certain things that I have done, that I have not done, that I have not listened to. And it is a sense of like really embracing your vulnerability. We had these topics in the past weeks already, if this is vulnerability, grace, transformation, transition and rebirthing. But they all correlate and they all work together. And it actually just comes back down to that you really become your own best friend. And self-love is exactly that. It actually requires us to show up for oneself every single day, no matter what happens. Therefore, self-care during transition periods is absolutely a must. And I say that to every startup owner, investor, or anyone who has to undergo changes, because it's an absolute must. With you, with you don't actually show up for oneself every single day, then who will do that for you? And self-discipline means also helping yourself to undergo transitions in your life and to build the foundation that you really want to see in your life. But without caring for oneself, no matter what you do, it's just not going to be sustainable. And that is key. Grounding, meditation, taking yourself time. Especially when you are between homes, countries, when you are this, you are not actually having a home. <laughs> You need to find the grounding and you need to continue having this routine, which is always challenging and it's not easy, believe me, because you live from a suitcase and it's a pretty much not an easy task. 
And especially when you have reached an age level that you're not a backpacker anymore. But that's key, understanding it and letting go and being able to walk into uncertainty because that middle area is the unknown, the uncertainty. To go from here to here, it is important that you let this go, everything in your old life. And I remember how Shifu said to me a couple of weeks ago, Geraldine, you're here in the middle, you need to let that go, change your surroundings which I have done so far. So it helps me to close more and more the chapter and it has been already closed now. But then you're wobbling, who are you now? It's the same when you work on a yacht because maybe you go from season to season and you don't stay on one boat all the time. So what happens, we need to adapt to a new team, we need to adapt to new surroundings, to a new employer, to a new yacht owner and adapting to change if you learn how to do this now way faster and quicker it becomes way more feasible and easier when you get older so allow yourself this grieving process allow yourself to be vulnerable to then be reborn and be more resilient stronger and complete the transition and then also figure out for yourself what are the next steps and that only happens when you find silence for contemplation, reflection, meditation, and to really continue the journey within oneself, to be able to listen to your own inner guidance. And that is the natural flow of life. Namaha, namaste.